the ward councillor for Masala, Kawish constituency of Ondola district. We want to talk about the conditions of services for the councillors. And we have a situation to refer to today. Our fellow councillor, we just buried our fellow councillor, who was working under very bad conditions of services. We buried her at Mikengo Cemetery. And yet in Ingola we also have Kansetri Cemetery. But the family could not afford, neither the council that they are coming from can afford to bury us from those uh, high cost uh, cemeteries. Now, our question is, why is it that councillors are not recognized? I'm very sure the President, His Excellency, knows very well that we are serving under very difficult conditions. We still get 410 kwacha for transport refund and seating allowances. This 410 has been there for past 20 years. But things keep on changing. How much are we buying uh, a liter of fuel? How much are we paying for our transport? Why is it that we are always the least people to be recognized? We are saving the masses. Every day we have a queue of people at our homes. We are not the ones that are hunting CDF. But every day we are facing challenges. We need to explain to the people. We need to tell them the benefits of the same CDF, which we don't even have any benefits. We are not happy. This message, we want to take this message to His Excellency, the President. We know he's a very able and capable President. Previously, previously, I happen to be one of those that served in the previous council. We were getting 700. And the PF government recognized that of the increase from 700 to 3,000, which is nothing now. And we are hoping that the President will consider us Following his his promises, we, we are very much we to the fact that our president promised that he will revise the conditions of services for the councillors. My full name is Councillor Simkoko Matthews from Huntungwa Ward of Chingola and Changa constituency. Right here, we are about two or three councils represented as we came to bury our sister, Honorable Maureen. Four, four, four. Yes, four. 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 four councils. Yes. We have Undola, we have Chilavombwe, we have Karulushi, we also have Chingola. We know our president is a listening president, and we know UPND is a listening government. We are here to hear our grievance. The problem that we are suffering with is the poor condition of service. A councillor has been neglected for so long. Remember that CDF has come with its own responsibility. Honestly speaking, from the first day of a month to the last day of a month. My name is uh, Senior Councillor Mbaram. Mm -hmm. I was a councillor in 2016. Mm -hmm. And today I'm still a councillor. From which council? From Chingola Municipal Council, Kopara, the headquarters of UPND, yeah. is Chingola now. Yeah. My first concern is, I'll start with the seating allowance. Even the seating allowance, Mr. President, where you are, that is seating allowance we get in our council should be revised. I'm told that seating allowance was made some time back. But why is it that even now, as I'm speaking, it's just the same? Now I come to our monthly allowance. In 2016, like my sister who did, we were getting 700 kwacha. And the PF came into power and they started giving us 3,000 kwacha. There was an increment. I'm from UPNG. Now the guys from the other camp, let me mention our brother and sister from PF. Yeah. 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 Yeah.